Florida. Why are we in Florida? Uh, we're in Florida because uh, they have boats here. Yeah, they don't really have, I mean, they have boats in Tennessee, yeah. but they don't have boats. <laughs> we're Chris and Chrissy Joe, and we've always been, well, a bit different. Over a decade ago, we blended our families together, and now that our three monkeys have moved on to their next chapter in life, we're raising the anchor and setting sail on our own adventure. Where will we end up next? We'll leave that up to the wind's pleasure. Here. No pictures, please. <laughs> so we're sitting there eating on the patio, and this beautiful boat comes up. Um, Chris thinks that it was a, a catch or maybe a what? A y'all? A y'all? I don't know the difference cute, between cute these. Boat. Good size. Super cute boat. And he pulls up next to the restaurant because the restaurant we were at was um, right there. It had a, had a dock. I don't know. I'm going to learn these things, people. I'm going to learn it. But it has a place next to the water where they can tie up their boats and just come enjoy the restaurant, right? Whatever that's called. And he starts moving the dock lines of the power boat that's behind him so that he can move that boat and I guess park his boat behind it or something, right? And dude in the restaurant jumps up and starts yelling. This is what I heard. You don't touch other people's lines aft. Okay, good to know. And I look at Chris and I was like, that's good to know. Don't touch the aft lines. Don't touch the aft lines of other people's boats. I don't know. I'm learning whatever etiquette, I guess. I don't understand why the aft lines are more important than the bow lines or anything like that. But, okay, don't touch somebody's aft line. <laughs> he wasn't saying aft. He was saying ask. Don't touch another person's lines. Ask. There's my lesson for the day. So yeah, this is the first video on a boat. This is our, well. Like getting real. Yeah, our first video on a boat. Well, we took a little bit of video on the little 22. Yeah, but we didn't do this. We didn't talk to the camera. We're while. sitting on a boat. Yeah. A Juno, is that how you say it? Juno. A Juno 42. Mm. Juno. Do you know what kind of boat it is? A Sun Odyssey. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. We're going to finish. Well, I'm going to finish my wine. Chris has already finished. And then I am going to say we uh, turn in for the evening. I may turn in. I don't know what he's going to do. but Turning in sounds good. I'm going to turn in. And then we'll get up super refreshed. Because, like, if we get 12 hours of sleep, we're still up by 8 a.m. Going to bed early, kids. That's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, it was different. Oh, never it wanted was, to go to bed. It was stay up all night, you which never... I just did, and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Good night. Good night. Bright and early the next morning, we met Captain Jim, our awesome instructor. After a bit of a refresher on what we had learned in ASA 101. So, not quiz. What, uh, what kind of knots can I use here? That is a good question. <laughs> and checking over the boat systems. The quality is good. Amber color for diesel oil. That's a clean engine. We are ready to throw off the lines and head out into open water. Oh, hey!
Hi. <laughs> yeah, and you say hi. <gasps> hi. Hello. <laughs> it's us from the future. From the future. What you're watching was shot in January of 2021. Right now, when is it? Oh, it's February. 2023. We wanted to update you on what's happening now or closer to, to now. now. Like now, now. When will then be now? Soon. The hardest part about doing boat life is getting rid of your land life stuff. As of February 2023, we are in the process of cleaning out the house because we want to be on the boat by March 1st. Whoa. Yeah, so a week and a half. Are um, we doing the right thing? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the right thing. Enjoy the past us. Enjoy watching us be real stupid on a lot of stuff. And hopefully, future us will be able to come in and say, okay, I have learned what a dock is. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go back to cleaning out the house. And you are going to go back to the past. Enjoy. Our ASA 103 and 104 class took place over the course of five days. On one of the calmer days, Captain Jim had us go over to a mooring field so we could practice yep. docking procedures and learn how to approach and pick up a mooring ball. Well, fun without a bird on it. The best part of the week was planning our very first passage. We had to choose an anchorage plot a course, provision for the trip, then put what we had learned to the test. River, and we are going to be heading back up to the Harbridge Marina. Have a beautiful day today out on the water. Can't wait. Mmm, lunch. Some good looking sandwiches. Thanks, Chris. You know what I saw? Dolphins! <laughs> I saw dolphins! <laughs> Yeah. 
test. We both got a 98, only missed two questions. The 104 test. I got a 97. You missed four questions. I missed four. Okay. I missed three questions. Remember when we did 101? He's like, 100%. Our week of sailing is done, and it's been fantastic. We're really happy, and now we're going to eat and drink and be merry. We want to send a huge shout out to Intelligent Sailing in St. Petersburg, Florida. They made everything so easy from the one-on-one -on -one instruction to letting us stay on the boat while we took our classes. If you sign up for lessons, make sure to tell Marty that Chris and Chrissy Joe say hi. And who knows, maybe you'll get lucky like we did and have some awesome neighbors. Oh my God, did you see them? There's two. <laughs> At the marina. I'm not even on a boat right now. There's dolphins. I'm so excited. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> uh, uh. So I was driving, filming, going on the bridge, and then Dolphin, like, literally right next to the boat's like, hey, hey buddy. Stop it. Stop it all the time. I'll be happy.